Hey, Lisa, I never thought that I would be in this position, but I'm recommending Taysom Hill this week, who's $4,500, and he's eligible on Fandle at the tight end position, so you're not throwing him in as a quarterback because Jameis Winston with Drew Brees out is likely going to see the majority of snaps under center for New Orleans. But Taysom Hill might be thrown in there a little bit more than usual, but even if he's not, over his last three games, he's averaged almost seven rush attempts per game. This game against Atlanta has one of the highest over-unders on this slate. Maybe they throw Taysom in at the goal line a little bit more than usual as well. So given his price, I actually think that he's a nice punt at the tight end position here in week 11. I also like Deontay Johnson, who's $6,400. If you look at Johnson's season in total, he has a 19% target share. That's good, not great. But if you look at the games where he didn't leave early, that target share average per game jumps to 25%, which is really, really strong. The Jaguars have been a below average team and adjusted points allowed this year. So at $6,400, I think that Johnson makes a lot of sense as a value. And then finally, there's DeAndre Swift. Swift played a season high 73% of Detroit snaps in week 10. He turned that into a 76% running back rush share, a 15% target share. And now Detroit faces Carolina, who have been gashed by running backs all season long with the fifth best matchup in terms of opponent adjusted fantasy points allowed. So I really like DeAndre Swift at $6,900.